Hey, what's up YouTube? Stacking and Packing here with another two box half dollar hunt, so $1,000 and half dollars. And it's gonna be another Loomis hunt. Our last hunt for Loomis, we actually did pretty good. We broke our skunk streak and we managed to pull out seven silvers. So another two box hunt today. I went to my bank, dropped off some half dollars at one of my dump banks, and then I went and picked up half dollars at another bank. And then I went to one more bank, which was supposed to have one of my orders, and they didn't have the order. I guess it never got delivered. So they're gonna order for next week. Hopefully that delivery comes in. But while I was there, I did see that one of the tellers had some half dollars in her tray. And I asked if I can buy them. And of course she said yes. And I thought I saw a silver when I was looking at them. And let's take a look. If you can see right there, I definitely did see a silver. So we'll take a look at this. And it's a 1964, so he scored a 90%er to start off the hunt, so that's always fun. Gotta love starting off the hunt with some silver. So let's take a quick look at this one. And it's gonna be a Philadelphia. We got really toned up, or just dirty, I should say. It's not really toned. But by the edge, it was a little difficult to tell with this one, but it, it caught my eye. And then she put them in the envelope and I poured them out and it made the silver noise when I did, so I knew we had silver. But let's get into this hunt. We've got, let's see, one semi-heavy roll, sorry, slightly heavy roll. We have six semi-heavy rolls for box number one. Box number two is gonna have a heavy roll, a slightly heavy roll, and seven semi-heavy rolls. So let's go ahead and open up roll number one of box number one. And as you guys can tell, I did forget to grab my um, tool that I use, can't think of the name right now, my screwdriver that I usually use to open up my rolls. So I'm using my hand, but it will be featured later on in the video because I know you guys like seeing that. But I'm not seeing anything in this first roll, so we're going to go ahead and get into the rest of the box. Let me go ahead and place this silver to the side that we found. And real quick, I'm just going to have a quick video showing you guys how to hit that bell notification. Okay guys, so to simply turn on notifications, all you're going to do is come over to that subscribe button. And if you're not subscribed already, you're going to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And then if you are subscribed, it should look like this. And then you're going to come over and you see that bell icon. You're going to go down over here and you're going to turn on all notifications and click that. And just like that, our bell is now filled in and you'll be getting all notifications for the channel. Alright so guys, that's all you it's everyone's favorite part of the hunt. Time to get into the heavy rolls. Didn't have any silver in box number one, but let's see if we got anything in these heavy rolls. So we're gonna start off with our semi heavies and then we'll work our way into a slightly heavy roll. Nothing in roll number one, so let's get into roll number two. 225.6. Let's see if there's anything. Not seeing anything there. That 1964. From the teller's tray it's getting a little lonely up there we got to find some silver for it and i'm not seeing anything here let's see if there's proof i don't think so no it's a really nice 1974. So the next roll 225.7 let's go ahead and see and i'm not seeing anything here and as always we will check these off camera just to double check and make sure we didn't miss anything. We got a 225.8. And not seeing anything in this one. So we'll get into the next one. 225.8 as well. Nothing here. So let's get into that. Slightly heavy roll, 226.2. Fingers crossed we got a 40% or something in here. And let's see, not seeing anything off the bat here. That's nothing. So nothing there. Definitely gonna go ahead and double check all these rolls off camera. And we'll open up roll number one of box number two and see if we have anything there. And I'm not seeing anything in roll number one of box two. So we're gonna go ahead and 
double check all these rolls, get into box number two, and I will see you guys at our first find or the heavy rolls. Hey guys, box number two was a skunk, but we still have those heavy rolls to get into. We're gonna start off with a 225.7. Let's go ahead and start cracking these open and see what we've got. And we might have one, not 100% sure, I don't think so. No, that's a 1973. So we'll go ahead and put that back and get into the next roll, which is gonna be another semi-heavy at 225.7. Go ahead and see. And I'm not seeing anything there. Nope, that's not a silver. So on to the next, 225.8. And that's a true semi-heavy roll, at least to our weight standards. And I'm not seeing anything there. Nope, that's another 1971. And that's a Bicentennial. 225.6, just a semi-heavy roll with Loomis. I think their wrappers kind of weigh a little less, so they're a little flimsy, makes them weigh less. So we're getting to the next one, 225.8, another true semi-heavy. If I can get this open. And I'm not seeing anything there. So I'll put it to the side and we'll keep on going. 226, so that's a slightly heavy. We'll open this one and see. And I'm not seeing anything on the 226 side of things. So I'll put that to the side. And 225.6, so this will be the last semi-heavy. If I can get it open. And nothing there. So let's go ahead and weigh up this next one. This should be a slightly heavy 226.2. Fingers crossed we got a 40 percenter. There's something decent in here. Not seeing anything off the bat. We'll check this one. It's a dirty bicentennial. And we'll check this one. That's just a 2022. And finally, our heavy roll. I do know someone opened up a heavy roll yesterday around the 226.6, and they didn't find anything in it, so it was the heaviest one that they've ever had without silver in it. So let's hope that this one has silver in it. And I see something staring right at me, really bright. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna say it's gonna be a 1964. So let's go ahead and pull it out. Oh boy, it's a Benji, and it looks to be in pretty good condition. So let's flip it over and see what we've got. 1963. So two 90 percenters today. So I'll definitely take that. 1963, and that's gonna be a Philadelphia. So really nice, glad to have it. Let's double check that roll and make sure we didn't miss anything there. And I don't see anything that we've missed. So I'm gonna go ahead, go through these rolls, make sure we didn't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the wrap up. All right, guys, so we didn't miss anything in those rolls, but we did manage to pull out this 1963 Philadelphia Benji. So that was awesome. And as you can tell from the edge, it looked really good. It is a little, it does have some luster still. So pretty happy with that. Overall, it's a nice coin and another Benji to add to the stack. So that was our oldest find for this hunt. And then we had the Teller Trey Silver, this 1964. So glad we were able to scoop this one up. This one's going to be a Philadelphia. So all in all, I can't complain. Managed to pull out a silver from our two box hunt and managed to score a silver from the teller tray. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below as well as leave a comment and subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on our next hunt. And I almost forgot to add our silver to our silver jar. I know you guys like that, so I couldn't leave that out. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys on our next hunt.